I am in 8th grade from Mrs. Fourth class in Ridge Park Charter Academy. My question is, when genetics evolves, could you limit a person from uh, breathing oxygen or have a limit to breathing oxygen or maybe even be able to breathe carbon dioxide with a plant's genetic, with genetics from a plant? Hi, I'm Dr. Nathaniel Schaffheimer, a biologist at MIT, and I'm here to talk to you about becoming a superhuman that needs less or little oxygen. So the question was, whether we can use biology to engineer ourselves uh, out of needing oxygen to breathe. And the short answer to that is no. Uh, we probably can't get rid of our need for oxygen entirely. So you probably know that uh, we breathe oxygen uh, from the atmosphere, and our cells in our body use oxygen to uh, produce energy. They burn sugar, glucose, with oxygen, and produce all the energy that your cell needs to do the many different things it does. And in the end, it produces water and CO2 in this process. Other chemicals are just going to be different, uh, especially CO2, and so you wouldn't be able to burn glucose and sugar effectively if you switched out oxygen for anything else. So we can't just get rid of our need for oxygen. However, it might be possible to get rid of our need for so much oxygen. So you have to ask, how do we get oxygen to your cells? So you take a, you know, a breath of air, you breathe it into your lungs, and there's this amazing protein in your blood called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin picks up oxygen in your lungs and carries it through your bloodstream to your cells uh, and drops it off. In the lungs, which are high in O2, oxygen, and low in, uh, and low in CO2, hemoglobin binds oxygen really well. And then it gets to your cells uh, after it traveled through your bloodstream, and your cells are high in CO2 and low in oxygen. And in this environment, a hemoglobin is just like, oh, I can just drop off oxygen, no problem. And because of this change in, its, uh, in what we call its affinity for uh, oxygen, whether it binds it or does not bind it, uh, it can uh, act as a transporter for oxygen. Scientists ha have already observed different forms of, of hemoglobin that bind oxygen differently, some, sometimes stronger, sometimes le uh, less, uh, less strong in different environments. And so we could probably figure out ways of changing hemoglobin to bind oxygen more strongly. So maybe if you're, if you're on a newly terraformed planet and the oxygen in the atmosphere, there was just not enough of it, Maybe you'd want hemoglobin that could bind oxygen more strongly and really make do with the oxygen that you have uh, available in your lungs. If you were trying to do this to a human being, you'd probably have to do this at the single cell level, like when it's a, a human embryo and you'd make the change in that's one cell and implant it into a human female's womb. The problem there, though, is, uh, is kind of an ethical one because do you want someone to experiment on you before you were born? What if things go wrong? What if you, there are other consequences? So there's other concerns you probably wouldn't want to answer before you tried to be, make yourself a superhuman.